Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hello. My name is Stephen Murphy. I use he, they pronouns, and I'm one of the co-directors of this winter season's pantomime. We here at Pantosock strive to make our events as inclusive as, as possible for our members and for you, our audience. But before we go into how we're going to make our performance space accessible for people with disabilities, I realize not everyone knows what pantomime is. Oh, yes, they do! Oh, no, they don't. Oh, yes, they do! Oh, no, they don't! Well, now they do. Hiya, besties! My name's Blythe White, and I'm going to be playing the dame in this winter season's pantomime. If you don't know what pantomime is, it's a British form of musical comedy, which is a retelling of a classic tale. Uh, and it involves stock characters, spoofs of well-known songs, and awful puns. It also challenges the restrictive theatre etiquette that often makes performance spaces inaccessible. For example, what you just saw myself and Blythe do was a staple of British pantomime, audience participation. During the show, audiences are allowed and even encouraged to react to what the actors are doing on stage. But don't worry if that doesn't sound like something you would be comfortable with. If that's the case, just take a seat a few rows up from the front. My favourite place to pick an audience member from for a bit of damn banter. If you'd like to know more about British pantomimes, we have attached links to this video below. Now, let's get this show on the road! A bit about the Winston Theatre itself. On the first floor of the North Building, the theatre is accessible via a lift, as well as clearly marked steps that come with handrails. The theatre can seat 206 people comfortably, including access to wheelchair users. People using wheelchairs will be provided spaces in row M1 and 2. If you are a wheelchair user and are planning on attending one of our shows, please reach out to our front of house that will be listed below. This is so that we can know how much wheelchair space is available per night. When you arrive at the theatre, make your way to the front of house where one of our ushers will guide you on how to access your seats via the lift. Also, assistant dogs are allowed in the auditorium. If you have any questions about the accessibility of the theatre or the Richmond building, we have attached a link to the Spaces Accessibility Guide. On the 15th of December, our Wednesday show will be an accessible performance with simplified lighting and no smoke machine. However, on every night we will have systems in place to make the performance space more inclusive. On our Wednesday and Friday show, the theatre space will be open an hour before the show starts, providing people ample time to find a space that is comfortable for them. When you arrive at the front of house, if you have any accessibility questions or concerns, feel free to ask our ushers that will be noticeably wearing Christmassy baubles. The front of house can also provide you with earplugs upon request, if you find loud noises discomforting. There will also be a sheet available upon request that highlights when any loud noises or effects will happen during the show. Also, if during the show you feel like you need to leave the space for a bit, signal to one of our ushers, and they will escort you to our chill-out space located directly outside of the theatre. A member of the team will stay with you until you feel ready to re-enter the performance, where they will bring you back to your seat. As mentioned previously, we at Pantosock embrace pantomime's tradition of rejecting exclusionary theatre etiquette, which is why you, our audience, are allowed to use the space as you would like to, our performances are an open space where people can bring stim toys, make noise, move around, and leave the space when they want. We hope to see you at one of our performances. A special thanks to the Accessibilities and Disabilities Network and Bristol University's Neurodivergent Society for their advice and guidance on our accessibility guidelines. <laughs>